way up in the great northern part of our earth within the quiet arctic circle exist all kinds of wonders minerals buried deep under the frigid dark waters bright colossal icebergs dancing northern lights mammoth reindeer and polar bears natural bursting hot springs and graceful camouflage birds Let's go with Albert to explore this mysterious icy frontier that's full of life. Angels share good news of great joy. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached and rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, just as he said. Who was that? It was an angel who appeared to Mary Magdalene and her friend Mary when they went to visit Jesus' body in the tomb after he was crucified. What? Yes, when they arrived at the tomb, they found an angel announcing Jesus had risen from the dead. Wow, that is amazing. I know. Did you know angels first told the shepherds when Jesus was born? Yes, I remember. It was a dark and quiet night which became our very first Christmas. In the Gospel of Luke, an angel of the Lord appeared to shepherds in the region keeping watch over their flock. They were struck with fear, and the angel told them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today a Savior has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. Angels are real! Yes, and their clothing was as white as snow. Let's go with Albert to the Arctic Circle and learn all about this snow-covered region and God's creatures that live there. The Arctic Circle is an imaginary line located at the northern top of our Earth, around 66.5 degrees north latitude. It's where sunlight is visible 24 hours a day in the summer months and not at all during the winter months. Don't they call it the polar night? Exactly. During the long winter months of the polar night, it's dark for 24 hours a day. This is due to the tilt of the Earth as it revolves around the Sun. In the summer, the North Pole is pointed toward the Sun, and in the winter, it's pointed away. That's really neat. The Arctic Circle includes eight different countries, as well as the Arctic Ocean. It's defined by extremely cold climate, its unique light cycles, and huge icy landscapes like glaciers, sea ice, and the tundra. And reindeer live there, too! They do! All kinds of amazing creatures call this freezing area their home. Temperatures reach lows of 22 below zero, down to even 40 below zero. And snow falls anywhere from 6 inches per year in the lower elevated areas, up to 20 feet per year in the mountains of Alaska. Large reindeer, called Arctic reindeer, have unbelievably special traits to help them survive up north. They have nostrils that warm the air as they inhale it, thick undercoats that keep them warm while their special outer hairs shed water and trap air for buoyancy while they swim. They can lower their leg temperatures to almost freezing so they can save heat in the main area of their bodies. Their eyes even change, causing them to look blue in the winter months. This fascinating change gives the reindeer super sight during the dark polar winter. They can see up to 1,000 times better and also view ultraviolet light, which helps them spot lichen and predators in the dark. Whoa, I had no idea. And they are not the only Arctic animals who change during the winter months to survive. Arctic foxes, hares, Ermines and lemmings shift from fur that is brown and gray during the summer months to a beautiful white fur that blends in with their surroundings, keeping them safe from predators and providing extra warmth during the cold, dark winter months. How? 
That's a great question. They have receptors in their eyes that detect the shortening daylight, which then triggers a hormonal color change in their fur. There is a bird that even does it called a ptarmigan. It is able to change its feathers from a brown gray to a snowy white. It's so pretty! So are these gorgeous arctic birds. Look at the snowy owl that glides silently through the crisp air, has fluffy slipper-footed feathers on its feet, and uses its expert vision to help it spot a mouse from over half a mile away. It can even snatch its prey from under the snow by sound alone. But there is another type of bird many do not know about, and they are called puffins. Puffins are called sea parrots because of their brightly colored beaks that actually fade to gray during the winter. Sometimes they are called clowns of the sea as well because of how they look and waddle. They often find one mate during their life and usually only lay one egg a year called a puffling. Aww, that's adorable! They use their powerful wings like flippers to dive as deep as 200 feet below the surface flapping their wings 300 to 400 times a minute, helping them fly through the water at speeds of up to 55 miles per hour. They can hold dozens of small fish in their beaks at once in order to feed their young pufflings and have special glands that even filter out excess salt from their bodies after all of that saltwater ocean swimming. What about polar bears? Polar bears are considered the largest bear on earth. They can weigh 1,500 pounds and stretch over eight feet long. They are powerful and beautiful creatures who are marine mammals because they live on sea ice and in the ocean. They can actually swim for days and they use their hind legs to steer. They have huge paws known as super paws. They are like snowshoes and even have bumpy pads to help them with grip in the soft snow. Their fur is not actually white, but clear and hollow. The scattering light is reflected, making their fur appear white. Underneath all of their fluffy fur, they have black skin, which absorbs sunlight to keep them warm. They are so cool and completely unique, just like us. Each polar bear has its own special whisker pattern, just like our fingerprints. Isn't that stunning? God is full of wonder with his creations. He truly is. The Lord sends a command to earth, his word runs swiftly. Thus snow is spread like wool, frost is scattered like ash. Hail is dispersed like crumbs, before such cold the waters freeze. Praise the Lord from the earth, you lightning and hail snow and clouds, storm winds that fulfill his command. You animals wild and tame, you creatures that crawl and fly, let them all praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted, majestic above earth and heaven. Just look at the aurora borealis. Magnificent dancing light displays caused by solar winds. And these bursting natural hot springs fed by Earth's geothermal heat from volcanic activity deep within the Earth. Then there are the huge amounts of oil and natural gas tucked deep below the Arctic Ocean on continental shelves. Geologists estimate up to 30% of our Earth's undiscovered gas will be found north of the Arctic Circle. And finally, the precious, delicate mineral that is found all throughout this mesmerizing Arctic area, snow. Made up of frozen water, specifically two hydrogen and one oxygen molecules, H2O. These molecules form a beautiful crystal pattern as they freeze into a mineral, building up layer by layer into breathtaking giant icebergs, glaciers, and tundras, all while nourishing life when melted down into a liquid and all formed by a simple piece of dust which water covers and God turns into something spectacular and unrepeatable, a snowflake. 
Albert, the Arctic Circle was my favorite expedition yet. Where can you take us to next?